man is today faced with this challenge. ये लोग कोम लो मनुष्य ये दो दो चीज़ ये गलत कंप्यूटर वर्ल्ड, क्रिएटिव वर्ल्ड, मास मीडिया वर्ल्ड, मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड, साइंटिफिक वर्ल्ड, व्हेन मेनी पीपल आर सर्चिंग फॉर द कॉलिंग एंड द डेस्टिनी इन लाइफ, द बाइबल मेक्स इट क्लियर दैट द कॉलिंग of every believer is to love God, to love oneself as God wants me to love and to love others. Well, the whole world is searching, what is my call? What is my destiny? The enemy's game is to put that doubt in you, to make you zero. What is your, what is your call? What is your destiny? What are you going to become? What do you get out of your life? What are you doing with your life? Where are you going? Why can't you become like this? Why can't you do like that? So take our attention and mind from the program and the love of God and the world will give its own. So man gets disturbed. What is my call? What is my destiny? These are the two things. If we don't find answer in the Lord, we will remain as a confused beings till the end of our life. We will never move in the call of God. Because the enemy's game is to catch us on these two points. What is your call? What is your destiny? What are you becoming? It takes time to dwell in the love of God to come to an answer and say, Hello, Satan, Satan, get out. I am not here to become someone. I am already someone. I have not come to become something. I am someone. He has loved me. He has shed his blood for me. He is mad after me. He has chosen me. And I am his. Now I am telling him, Lord, you are for me, I am also for you. All that you have given me, now all that I am, I give to you. It's a journey. It's a journey in which you begin to move and tell at the end of the door, you tell him, Lord, you are saying you are for me, you are for me, you love me, this and that. But listen, I also want to tell you, as you are for me, I am for you. I am for you. I hear in the scripture you are telling that you gave everything of yourself for me. But I want to tell you all, I, all that of mine also for you. I am here for you. That is called and building up love, intimacy. That is called being with Jesus. The disciples learn to be with him. Be with him means we want to tell them that my destiny, my call is to love my God who loves me. St. Paul says in Galatians 2.20 It's no longer I live. It is the Lord who lives in me. Now the life I have, I live is for the one who has loved me and gave everything of himself for me. I can do many things in the world, but I keep them aside and I focus on the one who has given everything of himself for me and who lives in me. So the love Jesus taught us is not just focused on Believers' emotions, but living out his instruction. What is that? If you in me, and if my words in you, you begin to grow in me. So now we begin to ask, Lord, how can I be with you? Very simple, he says in chapters Matthew 5 to 7 and John chapter. 15 verse 5 to 7 If you 
desire to be with me if you build up your desire to be with me and you take effort to treasure my word in you you begin to be with me very simple most of the secrets are very simple he says if you desire to be with me if you take initiatives to treasure my word in you you begin to grow in me you are all that i need is you lord and your word is my treasure lord constantly make this your prayer all that i need is you lord and you have given it to me in fullness lord and i want to give myself to you the goal of my life is to love you lord and to treasure your word in my heart lord the goal of my life is to love you the one who loves me lord and to treasure your word in my heart lord tell 10 times to yourself how you feel the goal of my life is to love you lord the one who loves me as i am and to treasure your word as my treasure lord to love you with my whole heart as you have loved me as i am and to treasure your word in my heart lord to love you the goal of my life is to love you as you have loved me as i am and to treasure your word as the greatest treasure of my life people in the world as they collect 10 lakhs they put it in the bank again they earn another 5 lakhs they put it in the bank another they earn and then they build one house they buy another land they are busy in building treasures of this world and servants of god they reflect more and more daddy you love me so much and i want to love you i want to as you have accepted me as i am i want to accept you and your mission and they take spend more and more time with his word and they treasure the word of god as they are great treasure and they are alone they go on repeat different different word of god to themselves they different different word of god becomes their great treasure that's why jesus said if anyone loves me he will keep my word john 14 verse 15 to 23 who is the holy spirit then the holy spirit is one who restores the great and first commandment in the body of christ in the church he wants the people vibrate god's love and god chosen me for that with a mission that the church and the world needs to vibrate god's love and all that he has is me so he wants me to vibrate his love 